21 um, pacemaker um, that I bought probably about two years ago, just over two years ago possibly. Um, we were just going to pretty much do a quick uh, overhaul on it pretty much and um, stick Dad's old 250 um, OptiMax on it. Um, but at that time I had a um, old uh, Commodore that was just sitting in the shed and not really um, doing much other than gathering dust so we decided to uh, flick that, got a bit of cash for that and decided to do a proper build on this. Um, we did, we did the original build, um, build wave breaker and all that sort of setup. Generally, um, back in, all, all the older boats we used to build were all center consoles, but um, it seems to be the going trend these days to do the um, the wave breaker style. So we thought um, with this boat, I'm trying to do a bit of a, a build to um, be able to fish off, take the family to Rotto and, and that sort of thing, and also be able to dive off, hence the dive door. and. Uh, bits and pieces like that. Um, it's sort of like a, a best of every world as I can do um, sort of build. Um, the original first build that we did um, had a pod on the back of it, so it was um, it was a flat transom with a uh, bolt-on pod on the back of it, and. Um, we used it a bit uh, after the full build. We used it a bit and weren't really happy with the way the um, the boat rode. It was pretty good, but it wasn't exactly what you'd want it to do. So um, we decided to uh, pull it all apart again. So we pretty much ripped the whole floor out of it, um, gutted the whole thing, um, took a mold off the back of the boat, and. Um, once we took the mould off the back of the boat, we did some modifications and cut the mould down to make an actual hull extension itself. Um, so it's actually <laughs> theoretically really now a 23 pacemaker. Um, massive work went into um, doing the, the pod extension, I mean the hull extension itself, um, because obviously all the strengthening that has to go into it. Um, so pretty much the whole idea of gutter, gutting the whole boat was to um, make that strength be built right into the bow and bring all the new stringers in one piece all the way into it to um, to build it and make it as strong as we possibly can. Um, probably went a little overboard as is probably, I think we added about 400 kilos of resin and about seven rolls of glass into it, um, but it definitely you can feel it with the ride. It, um, it rides beautifully, it's, it's, it's heavy, it's solid, it sits beautifully in the water. Um, and yeah, just pretty much that's where we're at. Uh, we've fitted out with, um, obviously being a, a Mercury, um, we've fitted the, the Simrad um, units because we can um, put vessel view links and stuff through them and I've actually got no gauges, it's just literally the gauges through the uh, Simrads themselves, um, which is awesome, I love it. Um, Simrad's pretty awesome uh, um, here. The whole idea of the back of the boat was we weren't going to mount any transom mount anything, um, transducers or anything like that, so in the bottom there we've got um, a through hull wet box style um, transducer, um, that's obviously um, uh, M um, M260 I think it is, for uh, deep dropping and that sort of stuff. Um, also got uh, a heap of uh, really nice bar work done, stainless bar work. Um, Brad Mann from um, uh, West Coast Marine Fabrications sorted me out on that. He's done an awesome job. It looks absolutely amazing. Um, also uh, up in the front we've got a uh, GX2 Lone Star uh, anchor winch and that. Awesome setup again. Um, I can't believe I've never had a boat that's had a um, anchor winch after using that thing. Um, the boys at um, Tidal Marine sorted me out with a um, seat box with a um, rear um, esky sort of setup. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool little rig, I think. Um, so hopefully, we can get out and get out with the family, get out and kill some fish with the boys, get out some line fishing and have some beers and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, so pretty much um, the whole build, 
from, from the first the first build and the second build it's pretty much around two years so um, yeah it's a, a lot of work that goes into it um, especially with this one because uh, we didn't go two pack or anything like that the, um, the whole boat's got a, a full gel respray and if anyone's ever done a gel respray they know how much sanding's involved in that uh, I wouldn't wish it on anyone but it's uh, it come up uh, absolutely beautiful and um, yeah it's definitely hard wearing, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so that's my rig. Leroy's uh, Pacemaker 23 build.